I suppose insecurities, um, insecurities, um, and any other kind of personal issues that they have. Um, I don't know why they kill themselves, but what I think is they don't have the courage to face whatever problem they have. Oh, oh, why do people kill themselves? Um, they feel like they don't belong here. Oh, fuck. Um, honestly, it's something I've never looked into. There are so many spectrums why. I mean, I've never personally, you know, seen anything like that happen. <laughs> I don't <laughs> I have, but not like for a really long time. Yes. How many times? Seven or eight, maybe. What drove you to that? The first few times it was bullying between years seven and <coughs> nine. It's actually why I don't really speak to anyone from that time. Anytime there's like catch up or a you know, I can't do it. Uh, those were really horrible parts of my life. Every day would just be torture. Depression. 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 I guess if you think of it as a beautiful, like it's a right thing to do, I guess it can be something beautiful to, to you. I'd say recovering from it, getting yourself back up to the point where you're a strong-willed human being once again, I think that could be more beautiful than any suicide that would ever occur. Because life itself is a beautiful life. Death is a painful truth. Suicide and trying to romanticize it would switch it around. I have no respect for those who try to romanticize suicide because it's ugly. No, I don't think suicide is a beautiful thing. No? No. Um, no, because um, no matter how they suicide, whether it's cutting their throat or whether they, they jump off a building, in the end it's still someone's death. So no matter how they did it, it's not something beautiful that I can relate to. Not for me, it would never be beautiful killing yourself. Never. <laughs>